Hello, welcome to Hayes Sewing Machine Company. We are located in Wilmington, Delaware, and today we're going to show you how to set up your baby lock sewing machine with Wi Fi and also how to download the design database software program that will let you transfer embroidery designs to your embroidery machine wirelessly, so without using a USB stick. Today I am working on the Baby Lock Flare, but there are other models as well that have this capability. If you take a look on the corner of your screen, you'll see a little Wi-Fi button. It looks like these little waves. When you select this, it will give you the option of being able to enable your Wi-Fi. So at the moment, I have it turned off, that's the default. So you're going to want to turn it on. And then we're going to go through the setup wizard. The setup wizard is going to search for the internet that you have in your house or your place that you are using this machine. You do want to make sure that you select the exact same internet that you have your device on. So if you have multiple internets like we do in our store, you want to make sure that you're selecting the particular one that your device is hooked up to. They both have to be in the same spot. Now at the moment I've already saved some of my information on here, so it's just looking to reconnect. I'm going to hit cancel because I want to show you how to set it up. So here you're going to type in your Wi-Fi password. This is the Wi-Fi that you have in your house. This is the password that you're going to have to enter on your sewing machine so that way the machine can talk to your network. It is case sensitive, so when you're typing in your password, you do want to make sure that you are using your uppercase and lowercase letters as needed for your password. Once you've entered in your password, we're going to hit OK. It will give you a pop-up screen. Apply settings. We're going to hit OK. And it is now connecting to our Wi-Fi. So it may take a moment to go through all of the credentials. And there you go, we are connected to Wi-Fi. We're gonna select OK. Now incidentally, I just also wanna show you one other thing while we're here. If you take a look at this icon, do you see how there's a little exclamation point? This is connected to Wi-Fi, so the machine automatically checks for updates. So when I select this, you'll notice how it tells me the version that my machine is, 1.53, and there's actually a new update on the server. So BabyLock has a new update for this particular machine that is higher than the current version that I am at right now. Now you won't be able to wirelessly update the machine. You do have to download the update from BabyLock's website, put it onto a USB stick and update your machine that way. But it is kind of cool that it will let you know that you have an update available. Now one of the other things I want you to take notice of is what our machine name is. So when we're scrolling through our settings, this particular machine is called Sewing Machine 067. So that's going to be important to know later on when we want to connect this to our device. You can change the name, this is just the default setting, so if you want to call it the flare, or if you have a name that you gave your machine, by all means, you certainly can change it. But just keep that number in mind for later. In order to download the software program that we need to transfer designs from our computer to our sewing machine, we're going to go to BabyLock's website, which is babylock.com. Over on the top right hand side, you'll see a little magnifying glass. You're going to left click once on that icon so you get your search box pop up. You're going to type in design database transfer and hit enter 
That is the name of the program that we want to download. The first thing you'll see in your results is machines that are compatible with the software. We're going to scroll down under accessory results. The first thing that shows up is design database transfer. And that is the program that we want. So we're going to left click once on it to open up the page. And if you scroll down, there is a read more button left click once on that it'll give you some information about the software program tells you what machines it's compatible with as well as specifications um, for the computer so be aware that this is a window based computer um, it has to be a pc it cannot be a apple or a mac it's not compatible so just keep that in mind to download the program there are two spots on the top right here, you'll see this blue download button. And then about halfway through where it says download the software here, if you click on the here, that will also allow you to download it. So we're going to left click once on that to download the software. Once you have downloaded the software, you want to go to your download section and install the software. I would recommend turning off any firewalls or protection um, programs that you have running so that way you can fully install the program correctly. Once you have correctly installed the software onto your computer, you should have a new icon appear on your desktop. It looks like a piece of paper with writing on it and a yellow or orange arrow pointing. It'll also say BabyLock Design Database Transfer on it. So you're going to take your mouse and you're going to left double click on the software to open it up. And this is going to be what it looks like. You do have a maximize box in the upper right. If you want to make the screen bigger so it fills up your entire screen, better visuals. And right now, we are looking at the free designs that the software will come with. So you have oh, maybe like 20 designs here that are free with this program, so you have something to play with. And what's awesome about this software is you can now see what the embroidery design looks like. Traditionally, when you have a list of embroidery designs on your computer, since they are a stitch file, not a picture file, you can't see them. So traditionally, you just have an icon with the name of the embroidery design underneath. And in this instance, this particular one, it's a numerical sequence. So I really have no idea what it is, um, but being able to look at it, I can see that it's roses with leaves behind them. Over on the left side, this is your pathway, so where you can access where you want to get your designs. If you have designs on your desktop, you can select your desktop. If you have designs on a USB drive, you can select that. Um, for this demo, we are just going to work with things that are in the library that come with the software program for free. When you're looking at the designs, at the moment we have the small thumbnail selected so you'll notice how you have a toolbar here with different icons i'm going to go to the icon next to it which is the large thumbnails and i'm going to left click on that once that's going to make the pictures bigger so i can visually see them a little bit better and then you can use your mouse or the slider to scroll up and down to see your pictures the other thing you can also see when you have a design selected this icon here is a picture of a piece of paper with a little word, bu word bubble, and it is your property box. So if I left click on that, I get a pop-up box, and it will give me some information about the design. So it will tell me the name of the design, how big the design is, how many stitches are in this design, how long this design will stitch out, and how many colors are in this design. Towards the bottom, I do have a breakdown of the colors in sequential order, so I can go look through my embroidery threads to make sure I have what I need to do this project. Obviously, you could pick whatever colors you want, so if you want blue roses, by all means, but it does give you a breakdown of um, at least how many colors you'll need. 
Now, I don't know about you, but I am not great with the metric system. So the millimeters to me are kind of gibberish. I don't really fully comprehend what that looks like visually. So I'm going to change it to inches. And you can do that with these tabs on the top section. We're going to left click once on option. Then we're going to left click once on select system unit. And we're going to left click once on inch. So that is now going to change my settings to be in inches. So when I select my property box, if you take a look at my sizing, it has changed to inches. So this design is a little bit smaller than four inches and about an inch and a half in height. So that to me is just more easily understandable because I'm used to working with inches. That is just my personal preference. You can go back and forth with whichever one you like. Other cool thing with the software is we can do a pre print out or a print preview either way. If you go to file and then we're going to click on print preview just so you can see what it looks like. But when you want to print, you can just hit print. And this will actually give you a paper printout of what your design looks like. And underneath here, we will have some information about the design. So it gives me the size, the stitch count, and then on the side here, it will give me the breakdown of the colors. We're going to close this box. And the next thing we need to do is tell the software what machine we are working with. So in this toolbar, the very last icon is a picture of a sewing machine with a little Wi-Fi symbol and a cog. This is your network machine settings. We're going to left click once on this and it's going to allow me to now add machines. So I'm going to select add you get another pop-up box that says it's searching for machines. Now, in order for the software to find the machine, the machine does have to be turned on, and you want to touch the screen so that it goes through its little initialization and does its little gyrations and gets itself set up. Then the software will be able to read the machine. Now you can see here, I'm actually getting several machines popping up. And that is because I'm in a sewing machine store and we have several machines hooked up to our Wi-Fi. So this is where knowing what the machine number is, remember we talked about that earlier, will come in handy. So for the baby lock flare, that was sewing machine 067. So this is where you could also go back to the machine and you can rename it. So I could call it Flare, which would make it easier when working with the software. And then like Sewing Machine 923 might be my Solaris, so I can just rename that Solaris. So if you have several machines that you're working with in your location, it may be easier for you to rename them to the actual machine. That way it's just easier to select the right one. So I happen to know Sewing Machine 067 is the flare. That's the one we're going to select right now. And we're going to left click on the Add button. So now that machine shows up here. And then we're going to left click on the OK button. Now once I hit the OK button, you'll notice that this blue arrow becomes active. And this is my Add to Writing List icon. We're going to hold off on that for a sec. The other thing that also changed is right here to the left, the send to location now has my sewing machine selected. So now the software knows what machine we're going to be sending things to. So I just go through my designs, I select whatever design I want to send over, then I'm going to left click on the blue arrow. So it's going to put it down into like this little waiting list area. So you can just go through and select however many embroidery designs you want to send over. Now, I don't recommend sending over hundreds and hundreds of designs because even though your machine may have space for it, do you really want to scroll through pages and pages of designs to find the particular one that you're after? So it would be kind of time consuming. So I would recommend just sending over the particular designs you're just gonna be working with right now because you can always delete them and add more. So for the moment, 
I'm going to delete a couple designs, so I'll show you how to do that. You're going to select a design, left clicking on it, and then there's a little trash can here, so remove from writing list. So we're just going to go through and delete those, and I'm just going to keep these two designs. Once these designs I'm happy with, that's what I want to send over. I have a big icon right here. This is a picture of a sewing machine with a Wi-Fi symbol and then a blue arrow. And when I hover my mouse over it, it actually says transfer. So we're going to left click once on this button and it's going to tell us that it is now transmitting the embroidery designs over. Once it's finished, it'll actually tell me finished outputting data so I can just hit OK. The other thing that also changed is right here, this little status bar, this is your machine memory. So you'll notice I now have a little blue bar here that wasn't there before. So that's starting to fill up the capacity of the machine memory. So you kind of have a visual. As this starts filling up, you will obviously have less and less space to add more designs. Um, again, I tend to not do a huge amount at, the t at a time, so I don't really worry about this spot. But if you're running into errors where the software is not sending over designs anymore, it could be that you've reached capacity and you might need to delete some uh, designs from the machine first. To access the embroidery designs that we just sent over via Wi-Fi um, using the software program. When you're on your machine, we're going to go to the icon that looks like a pocket. So this is the memory or save designs. You're gonna select the pocket and it gives you three choices. These are things you've saved in the machine. That's if you're using a USB stick. And then this is our Wi-Fi folder. So things that we've sent over using the design database transfer system. We're going to select that icon, and there are the two designs that we just sent over. So you're going to go ahead and pick whichever design you want to work with. Hit Set. It will bring it into the screens that you're used to seeing. So this is where you can go ahead and edit the designs. You can change the size, move them around. And then you're going to go ahead and embroider this out, just like you would any other embroidery. Happy embroidering!